There was a horrible bus crash in Chattanooga a couple months ago. I've waited because I wanted enough water to go under the bridge so that I wasn't using this horrible accident as a way to talk about what we do. But now it's time. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Pre-Accident Podcast Safety Moment, Operational Excellence Moment. This is a tough one because it's my heart's breaking because this accident is horrible. My goodness. It's a school bus. But I'm angry, and I'm angry at the way the response has been handled for this accident. We could not have bad-appled that bus driver faster than we bad-appled that bus driver. Johnthony Walker may be a bad driver. He might be a bad human being. He he might not look like a, a matronly school bus driver who's been driving 40 years before that was a nun and afterwards is going to become a grandmother. But it doesn't really matter very much what Johnthony Walker looks like or even drives like. What we have here is a situation where we have a bus full of children in a really pretty remarkable operator dependency. In fact, what we're counting on is that all of us as drivers on the road identify that a school bus is near, and because it's big and yellow and and has flashing lights on top, we're extra careful around it. And the other dependency is that the operator, the bus driver, is perfect. Every single time in all kinds of weather, every morning, in morning rush hour and in afternoon rush hour, they're perfect. And in fact, the Durham Bus Company's immediate response, and they have 16,000 buses throughout the United States, they're an Illinois company, their immediate response was to actually come out and say, they're going to open up a new complaint system so that you can complain about any bus driver you see. They're going to put smart cameras in all the buses to take pictures of the drivers driving. They're going to add a new executive level, a a chief safety data and compliance officer, because more rules certainly will create more safety. They're going to increase their commitment and care more about this because six people have died, but before that, two other people died within the last year and a half, and they're going to increase training. How much do we know about those corrective actions? How much can we share with each other about how incredibly ineffective all of those corrective actions are? I know and you know that the problem is not the driver. The problem is the fact that a child has more protection in a car seat in the back of a car, that the car you drive has more safety systems and safeguards designed in it than the school bus does. And that for some reason, whatever that reason is, we've allowed school buses to virtually have zero of even the most basic defenses, the most basic defenses like seat belts and airbags and seats that would be hard to fly from. And in fact, if the bus crashed, the seat would hug you like a good tight hug until the bus settled down. We can talk about the driver's behavior and we can talk about the speed and we can talk about the route and all of those things are important and the driver's screwed up, the driver's bad. But ultimately, I want somebody to talk about the fact that in that system, there are virtually no defenses and that we operate that system on the thinnest of margins and that ultimately what we ask is that the driver, all drivers, But the driver of that bus be perfect and every driver around them be perfect. We're not going to fix this problem by blaming the driver. It feels good. I mean, we can stand in moral judgment of this driver and he looks like somebody we probably ought to stand in moral judgment of. But the bottom line is the problem here is not this accident. This accident really highlights the absolute lack of controls that exist in that system. Because expecting a driver to be perfect is not a control. Creating a senior safety officer for data and compliance is not a control. 
Additional training is not a control. And a camera that takes a picture of the next time this crash happens to someone else is not a control. Think about this a while because this is really important. I want you to think about the fact that when we blame the driver, what did we fix? That's your safety moment for today. Have as much fun as you can. Learn something new every single day. And for goodness sakes, be safe.